60s where we belong. Once again, we're at the Washington Glass School. Uh, Mike Janis is a co-director here and is working on a piece of art here that he's going to allow me to work on. Uh, Mike... It's a uh, collaborative piece. Though. It is a collaborative piece now. Uh, we'll see whether or not you regret that. Uh, what, what are we working with here? Is this... Um, what is this? This is uh, crushed glass powder. It's called Frit powder. And oh, it's that's just, the frit. It's just okay. black powder. All right. So, and that's, I mean, that's finely crushed glass. That's and right. you use that now, uh, you, you let me do a little bit of it yeah. just a few this moments ago. This is a ago. technique that we call scraffito, and it's actually from Italian, meaning little scratch. Okay. And you're going to be sifting on the black powder onto the glass. Okay. And using shapers or, or exactos or the brushes there, you're going to be moving the powder around to make the shapes. Okay. And you can see, uh, sh show us this. This is what well, a piece this, might yeah, look this, like. Yeah, these are some of the, the pieces, but then when I start joining up the different layers, it can start giving you a great effect in different kinds of uh, qualities. That's They're really part of cool. It. Almost looks like a photograph, or, or it can have kind of a ghostly effect as well. The Take work, a look yeah. at this. And you did this uh, each, uh, each tile individually? Individually, and then I fired them all together, so it was made, made almost like a mosaic kind of okay. quality. What, would, uh, give me, what, what should I work with here? Well, you put on some powder, and yeah. I would probably say just use this little uh, sharp needle point and okay. just start pushing around to shape the ear where the ear is, give okay. the ear some definition. Okay. Um, the, the image I'm using was a, a photo from, um, that I took of our, our resident artist, uh, Evan Morgan, but uh, he's going to be immortalized in glass. And speaking, <laughs> well, I shouldn't uh, breathe or laugh or anything. Well, I got to breathe, but um, <laughs> but I mean, if I sneezed, this would go blowing around, right? Yes, you need to be careful. You need to be careful. And then when you're done with it, don't you have to take it over to the kiln? Yes, you carefully pick it up and walk it to the kiln. Okay. And if you're walking by an open door or a fan, you make sure you don't uh, let it get blown yeah, away. That would be a bummer. Okay, how's my ear? Your, your ear is going good. It's not Spock-like at all. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you mentioned uh, artists in residence. You have uh, like five artists in residence, is that right? Well, uh, Evan is our artist in residence. We have an artist incubator program where... Tell me about that, because that's cool. Uh, what we do is a, a lot of people will take a class and they'll say, Jesus is great, they want to do more with glass and more in the artwork, but they don't want to get invested in a kiln and such. And we have a, a program here where you can rent a table have all your equipment here and you're able to develop more as an artist here uh, working around the other artists and also then have your firings done at the same time so you're, you're not working mm -hmm. alone and just saying I've bought a, a many thousand dollar kiln for something that you decided that it does not for you that's a great idea I can that's a nice little push. shaper yes okay all right very good we'll continue to work on this oh, this you gotta be you gotta take your time take it's your hard time. to do this and talk at the same time um, I'm just messing it up right no, now. No, okay, no, no. We'll get other fixes. All right, uh, we're going to continue to work on this, and then we got some more stuff to show you coming up in a little bit. Lark and Steve, back to you. All right, thanks, Tony. Well, you could call it a bee sting for school spellers.